In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a simple tip that is really going to help you with your post routes in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video today. Now if this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focused on Madden 21 tips and tricks and so if you're looking for a place that has content that can help you get better at Madden, I would highly encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Alright guys, so I wanted to put out a little bit of an update video on post routes. You know that post routes, um, if you've been playing Madden for any length of time, um, you know that post routes are one of the most important routes in the game. And because they beat man-to-man -man coverage and they beat the cover zero uh, meta very well actually. And so what I wanted to do today was show you a little trick that I was making with my post routes. You might have been making the same mistake. So let's jump right into the video. So first and foremost, I want to pick, um, I'm going to pick Curl Wheel. Now this is my favorite play in the entire game. I think it's the best play in the game. And for those of you that haven't gotten the full scheme that I run out of Arizona Cardinals, um, that ebook is in the description. It has my full Arizona Cardinals offense and my full 46 uh, defensive playbook uh, that you can pick up right there. It's just 25 bucks, uh, which is a pretty good deal for what you get over 125 uh, pages of content and material. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come out in a man coverage. And I want to show you, there's going to be two plays. I'm going to go over Z Shallow and Curl Wheel. Let me show you Z Shallow really quickly. You see Z Shallow has this post route right here on the left. Um, it's a similar post route to what you might get from like a bunch trail uh, from the gun bunch or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to back the ball up. And um, we'll just put it on the right hash. It doesn't necessarily matter which hash you're on, but we'll just put it on the right hash. Now, what I want to show you is... You see this route to Antonio Brown is going just over 10 yards. It's going about 12 yards. Now, if I smart route it, which basically what you do is you hit triangle, circle, and then R1. You see that little wide receiver hot route button? That's going to tell him to smart route. Now you see it's going to go exactly 10 yards. So I want to show you a little bit of a difference in the route when it does that. So we're just going to kind of set up our base setup here, and we're going to let it go 11 yards. And I just want you to watch. Now, this is going to work just because of the stemming uh, inside position of the route. As you see, it's able to beat man-to-man -man coverage to the inside and able to be, you know, a very easy throw and catch. Now I want to show you the route smart routed, okay? What you'll see when it gets smart routed is he's going to get significant more positioning and separation. Let me jump into instant replay really quickly and show you what I'm talking about. So instant replay, we're going to take a look at this animation. And what you'll see here is at the snap of the ball, He's going to get, it. number one, he's going to get an instant win, which is great. This this stem right here, this cut, this right here is a very powerful cut. Now, if you let him go a little bit deeper, um, sometimes that's actually not a bad thing. You'll see that Gronk does get jammed here, which is not a great thing for the play. Um, it's probably the worst thing that can happen for the play. But you see now he has space, and he'll be able to run this post all the way across the formation. It's part of what makes this post run so good. You'll notice this difference a lot more on the left side post from Z Shallow. So what you'll see is this is a post that is going at about um, 15 yards as opposed to 10 yards. Okay, So if I snap the ball, what's going to happen is you'll see... Now if I get a press win animation like that, he's going to beat man to man. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shade coverage over top. And I'm going to um, shade coverage inside. Okay, And I want you to watch this Z Shallow post route to Mike Evans. You'll see the window to throw this is not as significant. You see he's kind of right there and he gets the catch tackle. That's what I wanted to show you. So this right here, and this is this is where the the little secret to the smart route comes in. What you'll notice right here, watch the separation. So here he comes, and you can tell right here that it's going to be bad because he gets over top. He gets on the inside shoulder right there. He's, he's on that left shoulder. Um... And he's tracking, and then he's going to get that nice catch tackle animation. See, this happens to me all the time. It actually happens to me, and I've lost hundreds of dollars because that, that route hasn't worked. So uh, I want to show you this. This is going to save you, um, and it's going to not just save you from this. If you're running any post route, I highly recommend um, at least experimenting with the smart route feature. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, but the only difference is we're going to smart route Mike Evans's route. You see that now it's going at about 9 yards, and then it's going to make its break at the goal line. Going to give him more time to run. And what you'll see here is he's able hard right pass lead, and he's able to get just about 2 inches more separation. But the key to that 2 inches more of separation is it gives him a, it gives the quarterback 
a window to be able to put the ball where it needs to be. So here you go. Now, same thing here, but look look at the separation right at this point, right there, right there. You see this right here? See this separation? Now he's not on his back shoulder. He's not talk, tracking. He's a little bit to the left. And at this point right here, that's where you have that separation. There's a window to throw it right over there, which we hit perfectly. Now, the other thing that I wanted to talk about with smart routes real quickly is how they can create different routes. You'll see on PA Reed, you see this deep post right here? The same theory is true. So if I were to just shade coverage over top and to the inside, what you'll see on that left side is you'll see Mike Evans is not going to be able to beat man unless he just has superior stats. You see he gets over the top, and that pick, I'm telling you, I've thrown that pick a thousand times. I've thrown that pick a thousand times because post routes, in theory, should beat man. Not exactly true. Smart routed post routes beat man okay smart route approach up beat man so here you'll see i'm going to smart route him now it's going to see it's going to turn him into that same vertical stem that we were looking at earlier and now at the snap of the ball what you're going to see step up and now he's going to get that nice separation and we're able to beat that man-to-man -man coverage to the inside though is a subtle little tip but i think it goes a long way and you can apply this to anything and everything in your offense um let me show you an example so eight shallow cross if i go to this play right here this s route this s post route one of the best routes in madden one of the most important routes in madden that you must master okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to run the play just run the play stock and what you'll see is antonio brown does get inside position but it doesn't look like he gets a lot of inside position okay now i'm just going to make one little adjustment I'm going to smart route the route. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go H shell across. Has that deep post. Now I'm going to smart route the route. I'm going to shade the coverage up. And what you'll see now is Antonio Brown is going to beat him by about five more yards to the inside. Now obviously i got to make the throw. But that to me is a huge, huge deal. Um, it really does help me understand a little bit better why certain things work against man, certain things don't work against man. If if you're having trouble completing passes, try smart routing your routes. I really think it's going to help you. Um, one thing I did want to show you really quick is it also applies to corner routes. So if I go to mesh right here, you see that Antonio Brown's route is at about eight yards. If I snap the ball and throw this, he will beat man. But see, see how the man coverage kind of just tracks with him? And that, that happens. It, it's, it's like the man coverage gets a, a win 50% of the time and the the receiver gets a win 50% of the time. Now let me show you smart routing. And it might not work on this per se, but I really think you'll see a little bit of a difference right here. And no, we didn't see it. Okay, perfect. Let me do the shade coverage over top then real quick and just show you that. Um, on some corner routes, it does apply. Let me see if I can actually find one for you in this playbook. It might be from uh, bunch quads. Yeah. So if I got a bunch quads right here, this corner route right here, you see how it's a little wiggly corner route to the outside. If I smart route it, you see that it's going to go down to about five yards. If they're in man-to-man -man coverage, oftentimes this will work if they're in shade, if they shade over top. You'll get you'll get kind of an instant win animation on that side. So those are just some things that I think are really, really important. Um, also, another thing about corner routes is sometimes they just work better in the wide side field. You see if they shade coverage over top, the route works. It co it's that little backside thing. Um, unfortunately, with press coverage, I think press coverage, I honestly think press coverage is better than off coverage. Um, but I think there's some holes in press coverage that you can definitely exploit. But what you'll see here is this out route will typically, you know, typically will um, be able to, to win. The same thing applies to, like I said, uh, crossing routes. So like this crossing right here, if I, if I um, or I'm not, I'm sorry, Brown, if I smart route Brown's route, you see it's going to go a little shallower. It's actually going to work a little bit better. Um, going to get a little bit better separation against the uh, against the coverage. So, anyways, guys, just wanted to put that out. I think it actually will help you guys, especially with your post routes. That's the biggest thing. Um, I've noticed that on post routes, if you can get them, if you can smart route your post routes, it will make it will make them even better. Even if it's just two yards, even if it's like second and two, and you're running Z shallow and you smart route the route. Um, it's it's definitely more for the the post routes that are like this one out of Z shallow it, that you don't see as big of a difference out of the one from curl wheel um, because of the type of route that that is the one thing I will say about curl real curl wheel that you will see is that the route will drag across the formation a lot longer just because he has more room to be able to do that um, even though we get inaccurate throws sometimes with that but 
Anyways, um, I would just try encourage you to try smart routing your routes. I think it really will help you, um, especially from those post routes, those skinny post routes like the routes from Curl Wheel. Um, it's just critical. So, anyways, guys, um, we've got three more videos coming today. Now, if you haven't joined my Discord yet, I'd highly encourage you to do that. That's where we talk Madden 24-7. There's a link in the description that you can pick up. And if you have not picked up my Arizona Cardinals offensive ebook yet, um, this is truly one of the best plays in the game. And it's complemented with the best route combinations I think you can create in Madden 21. The Cardinals playbook, when you know what you're doing and when you're able to really get in the lab on it, is is by far it's just got the best routes i don't think very many people could argue that the routes that you can create and the route combinations that you can create from the gun spread are phenomenal this year especially with the fact that it's harder to get pressure than it's ever been but you it's just hard to use or this uh, formation that's what makes it so good you're able you're able to get really dominant man beating heavy winning uh, post animations on both sides of the formation uh, with motion you can turn some real you can really do some things uh, you can see this eight shell across this is an amazing little flood concept to the left even though it doesn't look like much it's actually a really really good flood concept you'll see right here um, just pass lead Antonio Brown to the right if I you know if I take Mike Evans get him out of the way I might need to do that but you know the, these these route combinations that you can create from this offense are truly am, uh, amazing um, you know if you use motion you mix in some of the you know and we've got some decent running plays I think as well for you know shotgun sets when people are in you know heavy pass sets like quarters or something like that we have the passing or the running plays to be able to beat that but you can see that eight shallow cross route is just a powerful route and you get it the cool part is you get it from both of them but anyways guys that does it for today's video um we are going to jump out here and head into our next one but like i said we have three more coming today and then um we will uh have our live stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time so i want to thank you guys for watching today's video let me know if you have any questions and if you have not already joined our text message membership completely free to do that text me your madden questions i've got five uh videos right now for our text message members it's completely free my number's in the top left hand corner of your screen um one of them's on gun bunch it's about an hour breakdown on carolina uh, one of them is on Big Nickel Over G. We got about two hours of content on that, uh, which I would argue is better than most people's ebooks that they put out on the formation. Um, we just have some really, really good material on on Big Nickel Over G and on the Gun Bunch and on all that stuff. So um, be sure to sign up for that. But we'll see you guys in a little bit. Like I said, live stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Three more videos coming: one at four, one at six, one at eight. And also check out these videos if you haven't, if you missed them. See ya.